the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Yesterday when Liam was in here, I was talking to you about how the other night we went out for with my mum and brothers and stuff t- for mm. Chinese. Yes. And um, I wanted to mention this. Chin's and, Noodle House. Yeah, yeah, to get your theory theory, and, and, and if this runs deep in anyone's veins here, Harry, you're pressing the button so you can get involved here, right? So when we're out waiting for dinner, there's ten adults at the table. One Is it table, a round table round with table. a lazy Susan in the middle? Uh, yes, yes. Fantastic. And the kids <laughs> had their own table of ten over there. So, of there was, so um, the guys came out, they fed the kids first because they just know... It's the animals. Get, yeah, absolutely. Keep them quiet. Don't get... Uh, so they don't move around and stuff. So when we ordered, we were waiting. Obviously, the kids are getting their stuff and it was waiting for a little bit of time. And then the food started coming out and because the place is really jam-packed and busy, the first thing that comes out onto the table was um, duck. Megan loves eating duck. Yeah. So duck came out and then everyone's looking at it and it's just sitting there. People starving, mind you. But no one can move because none of the rice dishes have come. Ah, uh, So yeah, the okay. next thing that came out was like honey chicken and that just stood there and everyone was like, oh, frothing just to so get a you, part but, of this But food. you can't fathom tucking in until you've got your rice or yes. noodles to because yeah. you need your carbs to ma- to go with it. Could Is that what you're saying? Do you, do you have those rules? Like, no. in the end, the rice was probably the last thing that came yes. out there, but no, even though everyone was, you And know. the thing about that is that you know that that rice is cooked. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because they do it in rice cookers. It's like, just bring that little plastic thing out and put it on the table for us, could you? <laughs> special fried rice. I mean, it's not that hard yeah. and it's not that special. Could you serve the, di- could you share it out and then just wait to eat it until the rice comes? Just no, get the that, process going? But that's no. just in front of your face and you're smelling yeah. it. Yeah, it's scary, isn't See, it? Do you have a rule? Since I had my surgery, I don't really eat carbs. So I, I would oh. 100% just tuck in. that The duck, absolutely, I would have been hoeing into that for yeah. a, to the uh, one handful and then I'm done. <laughs> You're like, yeah, go, go, yes. up, go up with that all the time. Yeah, Harry, that's you right. You don't see it that way? No, oh, I think our family would just tuck straight, or I think we'd get straight into it. I mean, I go out. But then you, then mm. when the rice comes, you're just eating rice. You're just eating rice, see? Oh, but down there, other, there'd be other protein dishes coming out, I think. No, no, everything, ca- like this Every- the rice came in, it's the last thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're so- already tucked into all of the... Fancy and deal. don't you have the to thing. have a rule where yeah, the rice has to go on the bottom so that you put all the other stuff on top so the the, the, the juices go through and flow oh, and give that, it some that taste? Is a, that's a very important rule. The thing is, when I'm going out with the family for, say, a shared Chinese meal, I'm scared I'm not going to get, yeah. you know, gonna miss out on something. So <laughs> yeah. I'm, we're just we're straight into it. <laughs> and surely, though, don't you order, like, spring rolls? Oh, we did. Sorry, Nat, we did have spring rolls. Say, they were, they were a bit earlier. And, and yeah. actually, people voted against that. They said, no, nah, let's get stuck. Yeah, my brother no, Ben, he'd had a few and he was just determined that ben, everyone was going to have a spring roll. you have roll. to have spring rolls. It's, it's <laughs> an absolute, that is an absolute law. There's, um, there's no such thing as a veto for a spring roll. No, there's not. No. There's not. Yeah. He has no power. Um, speaking of Chinese food, yeah. um, our um, digital content producer, Sam, alerted me to the fact, you know, yesterday we were talking about particular people. Mm. Um, so our workmate, Jess, brings a thermos of hot water because she doesn't like the taste of the hot water from our hot water filtered tap. And so um, this girl, Adele, told us that she, she sent a video of it. She doesn't like the sauce on Chinese food. So she will order Chinese food, tip it into a sieve and then run it under the tap to rinse the sauce oh, off. No. What? I What's know. What are you talking about? What a monster. So if you were to get Satay beef. Yes. She would yes. run it under the tap. Rinse the sauce off. And then it's just called beef. Yes. What's the point well, of and that? And it's wet. <laughs> That's disgusting. Wet then it's beef. just wet beef or wet chicken. <laughs> wet, imagine ordering like honey chicken Yeah. and then rinsing the sauce off. <laughs> you, there's no point in that. Why, why order Chinese, I ask you. But oh I know, God. isn't that amazing? Very curious, our friends out there listening. Um, uh, as, I mean, I know that's a lot of Chinese food chat mm. um, for this early in the morning, but in about 20 minutes you'll want more. God, I'm, I'm feeling hungry. <laughs> that's the way it good. works. The Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Time to catch up with the woman who picked up the 2023 Melbourne International Comedy Festival's People's Choice Award for the third year running. That means she sold the most tickets of any comedian in the entire festival. Ursula Carlson, hello. Hello, how are you? You're just Ursula. showing off now, Ursula. I know, look, when you say it like that, it just sounds like, you know, you're setting me up for failure. <laughs> <laughs> but is there any thought that you go, oh, maybe I should give some of these up-and-comers yeah. a go, or, nah, bugger them, take the title. Like, I mean, 
what am I supposed to give the tickets back? Yes, no, that's a good point. I'm supposed to watch someone else. I don't think so. No, you just play a much, much, much smaller venue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not angry at money. What are you crazy? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, Ajo, where, where are you at the at this very minute? At this very minute, I am in Auckland in my lounge. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, wondering why there's no one here to make me a cup of tea, and then I remember it's because of decisions that I've made in my life. So, um, <laughs> but I just flew in late last night from Sydney, and I'm here for the day to hang out with the kids, and then I fly out tomorrow morning, um, six a.m. to go to Adelaide. You're yeah, basically you're... a FIFO mother mm. at this point. I oh, know, I oh, know. Yeah, I'm the dad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just coming in, saying a brief hello, yeah. and then off again. Bringing some presents. Well, <laughs> I have to keep coming back because otherwise I get smaller and smaller in the pictures, you know, in their drawings. Like, yes. You know, or I get further and further away, and I'm like, oh, no, I better come back so they remember me. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Hey, yeah. Ursula, when you when you come back in, when because you're obviously travelling all the time, but when you come back in, yeah. are you are you the fun parent? Yeah, the hero. Or, yeah. Mate, mate, you better believe it. I am the one that uh, well, I come in and I just cause chaos and yes. then I'm out again. <laughs> yes. Oh, you want to, you know, like, well, you know, every time you put your kid in bed at night, um, they always get up and, like, I'm thirsty, then give them some yep. water, yep. then I'm thirsty again, you give them cold milk, then hot milk, then hot chocolate, then, uh, like, oh, are you still hungry? Have a donut. <laughs> by 11 o'clock, they're sugar crushing so hard that no one's sleeping. <laughs> I'm the I am I'm the regular parents' mortal enemy. Yes, and, and then you're like, all right, I'm off to the airport. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I have fun, and then as I leave, I go, these kids are out of control. You better do something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that is the best way to be. I know, right? There's a lot of there's a lot of mums hearing this, going, yeah, I know, um, I know exactly what yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, currently divorcing me, and they've never even been married to me. Exactly. Yeah. Now the reason we're talking to you is you're coming to Perth again, which we're pretty happy about. Yeah. You're going to be here the twenty. 6th and 27th of May, playing uh, HBF Stadium. This is a stadium tour. <laughs> I know, I know. I've already done a few of them and I'm like, this is insane. I love it. See, there goes your idea of playing smaller venues. Yeah, I know, bro. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Taking over. You're like Coldplay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Hey, I, you know what, and I'm so pumped because, uh, you know, last year and the year before, I gave Quokka quite a, a rough run, you know. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. on have you been paying attention, I said the rat. Yes, um, yes. So, so this year, um, WI Tourism has said enough is enough. Um, and so they contacted my management and kind of, now I have to go cycle on Rottnest Island to go look at these little... <laughs> In your He's face. Little rat. Little teacher. Now, <laughs> yeah. you be nice to those cockers. They are adorable. I mean, they are. Yeah, I mean, it's called Rotness because it was the rat-ness. first people thought that they looked like rats. You know, the first people to, I mean, to swing past. They are. Like, but yeah. they're happy rats that, you know, that pose for selfies. So, what's not to love about that? Look, you know what? It's the difference between. It's like if you have a grandma that smokes and likes the whiskey at night or a grandma that likes to bake. They're both grandmas, but the, that's the difference between uh, uh, a quokka a and a rat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So which the one's rat, the quokka, the, the smoker or the baker? The granny that loves to smoke, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're here for fun. Oh, I don't think I'm going to annoy your face. Or, <laughs> whereas the quokka is like, oh, would you like a biscuit with that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> very well put. I know. I mean, uh, that is a great analogy. We're on board. Yeah, hey, Ursula. yeah, yeah I'm going to pitch that to WI Tourism, see if I want to add, yeah. put that in the ad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that's going to take off. <laughs> Ursula, I'm, I'm thinking about, um, you know, when you're putting your show together, Just Know, which is, um, uh, I think you will bandy everybody together because everyone likes to have a complaint mm. and stuff like that. Yeah. But w- when you're mining your material, do you just do it yourself or do you pick up on some things that are going on or, um, you know, friends or families, uh, stories that you go, oh, I can, I I can, can work that. with that? Um, so far, I haven't had to um, cry about too much of other people's stuff in. You know, the stuff that has happened to a brother or sister or anything. But um, if I do use anyone else's, I go, this happened to my brother or this. But no, so far, enough crazy stuff happens to me on a daily basis that I can just use my, my own experiences. And I think it's just, um, my brother said to me the other day, there was a shooting in West Auckland. And um, on the footage um, of the, the CCTV footage, you can yeah. see my car go. <laughs> and then you go... One, two, and then the the guy shooting at the police go, and then the police car go. Yeah. And my brother saw that, and he goes, you know, 
sometimes when you're on stage, people think you make this stuff up. He goes, but you just attract. So much weird stuff. <laughs> that is so funny. I got home and I, I put on the family WhatsApp group. I go, did everyone else hear the shoot, the shots? Like it sounded like gunshots. And they all went, you're not in South Africa. Calm down. And then <laughs> there's my car on the news driving in front of the shooter. That is unbelievable. <laughs> you're making you're making a getaway. Yeah. Uh, just parting the seas for the for the getaway guys to get away. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just. It's just, and then I got pulled over in Victoria and got a fine. Um, and the police officer was just like, we, she set me up for the perfect joke. Like I've never, yep. I started doing comedy on St. Patrick's Day yep. in 2008. And in my entire career, I've never been set up for a joke like this police officer set me up for a joke. We were laughing so hard, she fell over on the outside of the car. <laughs> really? So um, I, I opened the show with that story. So oh. it's, just, it's just crazy stuff that happens. So no, when like I don't have to mind too deep because no, all the stuff that there. I talk about is the stuff that that happens to all of us all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The universe just hands it to you on a platter, <laughs> and you're like, "Yep, yeah, I'm going to take yeah, that." Yeah, I'm just, I'm just here yeah, keeping my eyes peeled and paying attention because I don't want to go back to a day job. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, it? you might have to be home or too yeah, often. That's right. See those kids more. Um, what what was your day job? I used to work in advertising as a photo retoucher. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, I could do that. <laughs> Oh, no. I was the one making the burgers look amazing for oh. hungry back. <laughs> it's like yeah. glisten on the bun, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I used to, honestly, I used to put the burgers together. Like, they would take high-res photos, and then you just have the bun or whatever. And then sometimes the, um, they'll go, we need more sesame seeds on that bun, or add more sesame seeds, or a bit more sauce running down the side, whatever. I used uh. to do all the ads for Holden, too. I used to put mud on the... On the, oh, the cars, on the yeah, like on the four wheel drive yeah, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. But so um, it's just a normal clean, and then um, they go, "Can we add mud to that one?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> then I put the mud on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Doing, doing the Lord's hearts. work, obviously. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the one that people go. None of this looks real. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, because none of it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's too good. All right, well, you're headed to Perth, um, 26th and the 27th of May. We'll warn the quackers. People can get tickets to your show at HBF Stadium from livenation.com.au. Um, but, you know, she sells out everywhere, so uh, get on to it, Get everyone. on board. Angela Carlson, thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks, Tim. See you, Next time I see a sesame seed, I'll think of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Nathan, Nat and Sean with a part of Nathan currently being played by Jeremy McGovern. Yes, like for like. <laughs> Probably not as as, as energetic <laughs> as like. Nathan, but... Um, you're getting there, you're moving. Yeah, yeah I'm early. moving. I'll, a couple yeah. more coffees and I'll you're, get there. You're tall. Yeah, I'm tall. <laughs> I'm tall and I'm good looking like Nathan. There you go. Now you're talking. Okay, Gov, you can weigh in on this because um, you're a parent and you've you've got three kids, haven't you? Yes, three. Okay, so I saw saw a story um, online this morning, news.com.au, where um, this woman was saying that she has changed her kid's name. So she was was having a girl, going to call it Louisa, told everyone she's calling it Louisa. Baby comes out, calls it Lucia, changes the name, right? So that's once... And then after a couple of months went, I don't really like the name Lucia. Oh. And, and people don't know whether to call her Lucia or Lucia. They're a bit Luch. worried about the, yeah, the pronunciation. And so now she wants to change it to Juliet, which is from her mum's name because her mum's name is Judy Elliott. So it's like a contraction of that. And she likes the name Juliet. Her husband's on board, but they're too scared to tell their friends because their friends are going to roll their eyes and go, what the hell are you doing? Stop changing this kid's name. Well, they all know about it now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm a firm no. Yeah. I reckon once... Oh, once you call them that, I've, stick with it, unless I, they want to change it down the track? Yeah, I think if they want to change it down the track and yeah. that's, they, they're they extremely disappointed in you for choosing that name for them, yes. Then, yes. Uh, then I think that's fair enough. But you can't be chopping and changing early. I think you, if you're going to do that before yes. you give them their name, and yes. it's not a legal thing, fair enough. But yes. once, they, once they're born and you're calling them that, stick to it. I think so. Yes. Did you have a discussion with the missus about the names, and where did you did you did your names get across, or was it just uh, How did you Hudson? We knew we loved that name yep. for yep. for a boy. Um, the other two, yeah, it took us a couple of days actually. Yeah. So we just we had a couple that were stewing on, and no, we both both come to it pretty pretty convincingly. There wasn't any arguments really. 
too much. And you knew, did you know if you were having a boy or a girl each time? So I have, first time we found out. Yeah. Second time I did the worst thing ever is we found out, but we weren't going to tell anyone. Yeah. Yep. I, I highly recommend do not doing that. Don't, yeah, right. don't do that. Because you let it slip, right? Well, yeah, you're, you're tiptoeing around the yeah. whole time. And, and you accidentally say he or yeah, she. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did. I, I, pretty much everyone knew what would happen yeah. because I, <laughs> I did that exact thing every, don't every two minutes. Don't tell Gavin a secret, okay? And now I'm looking around and he's like, you haven't told anyone, have you? I said, no, no, no not directly. No. Not directly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, yeah, then the third, we, um, we just waited and said, Oh, okay, yeah. so the third was so a we surprise. Had, we had got a bit of everything. Yeah, 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 you had everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was interesting, we are talking about the names this morning, actually. Mm. Amy, our producer. Amy, uh, step up. She was telling us about when she chose the name for her son, Amy. Correct. So this was our second golf. Both times we didn't, we didn't know what we were having first and second. So then Alex missed the birth of our second, which was a boy, because um, I just... Went into labour so he was quick, quick, and he yeah. went home. Alex went home, and I went into labour. Anyway, he comes in the the room, and he was like, "What do we have?" It's like we've had a boy. Prior to him leaving the hospital, we had landed on if it was a boy, it would be Thomas because yeah. I like. So that Tom was in the lead up to the to the birth. You yeah, talked so about I, it, yeah, and talked Thomas. about it. Yeah. So Alex goes home, you know, waiting for me to go into labour to come back. He comes back, and I'm like, "We've had a boy." But it's not Thomas, it's James. And he was like, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a what? unilateral decision. Uh, so what made you, you were yeah, happy you land there? What, what happened? So we actually, we, James was in the mix, but we both landed on Thomas. Yeah. Uh, like, we were happy with that. Yeah. But when James came out, I was like, oh, no, absolutely not. You're not a Thomas, you're a James. Yeah, there you go. And I believe I told, that as well. Yeah, yeah, I told Alex, I was like, so we've got, Baby James. There you go. You so made, that's how it changed. Made the executive what decision. What a surprise! That happened to a friend of mine as well. She she was she knew she was having a boy. Named him Declan. It's, his name's Declan. He arrives. She looks at him. and Goes, oh, he's not a Declan. He's a Morgan. Which is like that. And she said Morgan had was never in the mix. <laughs> the, just came out of nowhere when she looked at him. Oh no, he's a Morgan. I was just spare of the moment. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Wow, hey, okay. And to be fair, he is a Morgan. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think whatever. That's something that I've. Like the, they just turned into whatever they are. Yes. If that makes sense. Yeah. I, I looked at Hudson like oh, I. don't know if it's a Hudson, but that's what we're calling you now. I look at him. I'm like, I oh, he's couldn't even Hudson. imagine calling him anything else. Yeah. We want to talk about names and. Mm. Pop- the possibility of you might that, have changed names have you changed on somebody. Them? Did you do what Amy did or, the or, yeah. unilateral decision? You walked out of the room and you come back and you yeah. and your child is a different name altogether. Yes, like the baby almost changed your mind when <laughs> once you saw the baby. Three hundred dollars to spend at Seashells Accommodation. Double your stay for free at Seashells. Book now at seashells.com.au. That's going to go to someone now. And of course, um, anybody who gets on air with us at any time is in the running for Nova's ten k a day in May. So bear that in mind. So we are talking about well. The intricacies of naming a baby. Have you changed it? Did the baby change your mind? Did you have a disagreement with your partner, but one of you won? What happened? Kay's in Netherlands. Hello. Hello. Hey, Kay. Okay. Talk to us about naming your kids. Uh, So I was pregnant with twins, a boy, and we knew it was a boy and a girl. And um, we decided to call the girl Elsa. I love the jewellery designer Elsa Caretti. And. So we called we, right up until about three days before the twins were born. She was called Elsa. Her elder sister was like, we're packing the bag for hospital for Elsa. Um, and um, uh, when, uh, whilst, while she was, you know, in those last few days, I was thinking, oh, if we go home to Australia, people won't know how to say Elsa. They'll say Elsa. It sound like the lady from home in a way. And I thought, I can't do that to her. Um so we changed her name to Isabel, and which is great. But a few months later, the Frozen movie came out, and we thought to ourselves, "Oh my goodness, I'm so glad we didn't call her Elsa. Everyone would have thought we named her after the Ice Queen." Of yes. course. Uh, <laughs> and uh, interestingly, Isabel was born with white blonde hair. It was white, and it's still white blonde. She actually looks like Elsa from that movie. From Frozen. So, um, <laughs> Well, that was lucky. <laughs> yeah, you dodged that bullet, really. Un- we did. Yeah. We did. Unintentionally. Yeah. Have you Amazing. thought about changing it back to Elsa, no? <laughs> you know, I still love the name. Uh, it's probably been long enough since that movie came out that I probably, if I did have another child, I'd probably look at it again. Yeah. But yeah, she used to sing that song, dress up in the yep. costume and everything. Um, Crank it up, Mary. Was called Here Elsa. We go.
<laughs> there we are. <laughs> Happy with me. <laughs> I think the name Elsa will forever be associated with Frozen. Always. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks, Kay. Enza, hello. Hi. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Enza. Enza. Talk to us about the difficulties and intricacies of naming a baby. Uh, yeah, so I was having twins. Um, didn't know what I was having, um, really wanted girls. So yeah. we decided on definitely one girl name, which was Vienna. Yep. And I did say to my husband, oh, if we had two girls, I want Portia. And he was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, definitely probably won't have two girls. Anyway, obviously had C-section, so surprised, had two girls. First one was Vienna. Second one, I was just like, oh, my God, I've got two girls. I sort of got shipped off, did what they have to do, get back to the room, and I'm going, oh, my beautiful twin. I was like, oh, Vienna. And then I went, Bella. <laughs> and I was like, I said, who called her Bella? And he's like, oh, I did. And I was like, oh, no, call, call the nurse back in. We're changing it. <laughs> so he calls it back in. He calls it back in, and I said, sorry. I said, we need to change her name. Her name's not Bella. It's meant to be Portia. And the lady goes, too bad. It's already been lodged. Oh, Whoa. that quickly, Enza. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I was not happy. <laughs> oh, one each. Wow. So, do you call her Bella now or Portia? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, we just say Bella. You I have told her a few times oh, I want to change it to Portia, and she was like, no. Yeah, oh, 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 about the other Bella. But I mean, there's a be- Bella's everywhere. There's yeah. like the yeah, Bella's are a dime right. a dozen, both human version and dog version. Every second dog's called Bella as well. Yeah, you're right. Well, mm. when, what happened? So, your husband, did he just went, no, nah, this is. This is my opportunity. Oh, um, because there was a few discussions that he wanted Isabella, and I said, "Oh, look, if we do have two girls, if you have to, we'll go just straight Bella because everyone's going to shorten it anyway." Yeah. I said, "But nah, it has to be Portia." But I just had it in my head that I probably won't have two girls, so we didn't really discuss it any yeah. further. Yep. So wow. yeah, but I was a bit angry that they had already lodged it that quick. I know that seems unbelievable. Uh, yeah, <laughs> your husband took advantage yeah, of that I think situation. Yeah, he slipped them fifty yeah. bucks. I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Enza. Julie's in Mandra. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, Great, Julie. Jules. Okay, hit us up. What's the What's the problem with naming a baby? Okay. So what happened was it was my fourth pregnancy, um, and we didn't know any of our baby sexes, but we had two boys first, then a girl, and we thought number four four was going to be a girl. So we had a girl's name picked out. Um, We also lived in a country town, so it took us an hour and a half to get to the um, the hospital. Yep. Um, Yep. So got to the hospital, um, had a baby, obviously, um, and was a boy. Um, so we weren't quite prepared for a name, but we spent, he was nameless for probably a good week, but I really loved the name Isaac. Yeah. Um, and yep. my husband didn't really, he didn't mind it, but he said it reminded him of a dog, a dog's name that we knew that was named Zach anyway. <laughs> um, so, uh, so he, during the week, him and my brother were talking, Mad Eagles fans. Um, and decided that they wanted to call him, you like this, Gov, Mitchell White. Oh, Mitch. Like, yeah, great name, Mitch. We'll call him Mitch. So I kind of caved and we went with Mitch, um, wrote it on the baby book and everything, told everyone, this is back, you know, 25 years, so there was no mobile phones or anything. We called people to say, yep, that was his name, but... And then on the drive home, a week later, on the drive home, I changed it in the car on the way home. I was like, uh, in tears, no, I don't want, I don't want it to be in Um, and we changed it to Isaac. So, <laughs> oh, there you go. so he was Mitch for a week yeah. and then he went back Mitch, to being Isaac. Yeah, and everyone was expecting us to get home with little baby Mitchell. <laughs> and I was like, no, I pushed this baby out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is a compelling uh, argument. I, it is. Yeah, because, you know, naming it after a footy player, I'm not really what I was Well, I mean, not, I was hoping you were going to say Jeremy for a second. Yeah, yeah I, I, I got a bit upset when you said mm, Mitch. Especially as your brother's name is Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mitch Mitchell White, though, he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Bigger. For sure. Hey, thanks for your call. $300 to spend at Seashells Accommodation. You can ju- double your stay for free at Seashells. Book now at seashells.com.au. I'm going to give it to Enza. She walked out of the room after giving birth. Yeah. 
And then she came back. Her husband and... blindsided there. <laughs> Thought the kid was called Portia. Turned out, it's, no, it's called Bella. Um, and it can't be changed. Everyone we spoke to is in the running for Nova's 10K a day in May as well. Like, been talking about changing names. Yeah. You've got a cracker of the story. I do. I, I, I actually changed my name as well. I, yes. I had to when I was up in um, Indigenous community um, in Warburton. I, um, for cult- a, so cultural kid, regions, yeah. yeah, when I was a kid, young, young kid, um, up there for when some uh, someone of significance passes away, uh, you can't use that name. And Jeremy was one of them, so I had to change it. And mum and dad gave me the responsibility to change my name. And I, I changed it to Rocky. <laughs> Because Dad used to hammer Rocky Balboa oh, on no, the No, you don't have to explain why. Rocky's awesome. Ro- why yeah, Ro- Rocky is awesome. But, Rocky um, McGovern. That's so just... you're Rocky McGovern? I was, yeah, up there I was Rocky McGovern. Oh, and look, you can always still call me Rocky if you want. I that's love Rocky. Want. Um, I'm not quite the boxer that Rocky was, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no, but that that's not the funny one. I've got a no. funny one of a couple of local boys here in Perth, um, South Freo Way and Wesley Footy Club, um, bloke named Morgan Cooper. They yes. had a few beers and carrying on on the weekend and they... So this, was this a Mad Monday situation or was it just You know what, you want to hope so, weekend? but no, knowing these boys, it was probably a Monday and Tuesday <laughs> Arvo and they just got a bit carried away and um, they they wound Morgan up. Yeah. He's very easily... He's got a rubber arm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they took him in, in Perth, here to change his name. And they took him in, took his passport, took all of his details. So they thought it'd be a hilarious gag for him to change his name. Yeah. I think it'd be hilarious if I wasn't doing it. Yes. So I think this is real. This is a piss out. Okay, so he got to. Who got to choose the name? Him or his mates? I don't know who got to choose it, but they need to take credit for it because they changed it to Jose Swift. (laughs) Jose Swift. Jose Swift. Taylor's younger brother? (laughs) Yes. I think it's an absolute cracking name. Um, Jose Swift. Jose Swift. Morgan Cooper to Jose Swift. Mm -hmm. His missus didn't know. Oh. Until the paperwork came in a week later. Yes. And. Obviously, rightly so, she spat it. Because um, he has to change everything then. Yeah, so, he has to change it back. And Oh, sorry, he could, did he change it back? He did, but it, it, he didn't for a fair while because it was too expensive. So I think they reckon it lasts about a year. Before <laughs> that he was legally Jose he Swift. He was legally Jose Swift. I would loved. I hope he got a driver's licence or a car. I know, yeah, that, that, that yeah, be, exactly. That, that would be all time. That would be, that'd be <laughs> framed know. on my wall, that's for sure. That'd be in the... <laughs> the other thing to add to that is... Um, Making up your, you got to get a new autograph, don't you? Yeah. If you're you signing documents, yeah. Jose, Swift. <laughs> Jose Swift. The most Australian bloke walks in. and yeah. He's called Jose, Jose. Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding see. work, and good the fact on. that he couldn't afford to change it back for a year, even better. Too good. He saved up the, yeah. the whole three hundred dollars that it costs. I know, beautiful. Um, Gov, it's been great having you in today. Thanks for having me. It's been, it's been a bit of fun. Buddy, you're welcome Gov. anytime, Rocky. No worries. <laughs> Cheers, on you, Rocky. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.